Are we ready for another one? International Stabber. And yes, my unboxing knife is still lost. Hopefully I find it uh, before I go to Illinois. Boy, would that be lame. Okay. Did I get in? Um, this is another order. So this is probably gonna be something pretty cool. Um, I don't think I just doxed the person. I think they sent it from a P.O. P.O. box, P.O. box. But uh, let's see what's in here. Oh, this looks sweet. Feels like a log of silver, whatever it is. Or gold. What did I get? This is the crazy thing, guys, when I order and I don't get it for a while, I tend to forget what the heck it is. I mean, I have a spreadsheet that says what I'm missing, but I've got a bunch of them. Okay. Looking cool. Oh, yeah. It looks like it is my favorite design and we're supposed to have 204 total dimes so 204 should be twenty dollars and forty cents i believe so one fact check me it looks like the majority of them are mercs and we're gonna pick up and look at some of these but i'm just i'm just quickly spreading them around it looks like they are all mercs which are my favorite and man we got some really good shape ones in here nothing too crazy so we need 204 of these so let's take a look at a few and then we'll double check it okay most appear to be in pretty good shape but that one's not Woo! and you guys i'll put the spot price on on the, t the screen of what i got these at oh yeah and here's the important thing I know you're all gonna say, oh yeah, she told us you're not buying silver. I'm not, this is silver I bought before the crazy run up. So let's make sure we got the right amount of these. Five, six, seven, eight. 12, 13, 14, 14, 15, 16, 15, 20, 21, 22, 25, 9, 30, 31, 32, 7, 6, 9, 70. What do you guys think so far? So 1, 6, 2, 7, 3. 74, 75, 76, 7, 7, 8, 7, 9. 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 7, 8, 9, 90, 91, 2, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 99, 100. I mean, there's some worn ones in here, a little bit more than I like, but I'm pretty sure I remember getting an epic price on these. So there should be another 104, I think. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 44. Wow, look at this one. Woo! Wow. The luster. Oh, I think that's at 44. 55, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 55, 6, 57. Wow. 58, 59, 60, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 9, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 76, 7, 8, 80, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 
Alright guys, I got these in spot with 1778 and I paid for 200 dimes and he sent me 204 and I vaguely, 204, and I vaguely remember him saying some of the mercury dimes were a bit worn so he threw in a few couples to make up for it. But man, there are some like beauties in here, probably some of the best mercury dimes I have and I just, I absolutely love mercury dimes. I don't know why. I just love the design. What is your favorite coin design? Let me know in the comments below what your favorite is. I think mine is the Mercury Dime, um, as well as the Morgan Silver Dollar. And actually, I do have a Morgan over here near me. So there's the Morgan. And I always think about the Morgan like if a cowboy walked into a bar. How many shots could he buy for his posse or his gang or his crew? What do you guys think? How many shots of whiskey back in the 1800s could you walk in and be like, shots for the boys? Now I heard um, and read that they're called a shot, is called a shot of whiskey or a shot of whatever you're going to drink because they would literally trade in a bullet for the shot. So they put down a bullet and push it and be like, let me get a shot. Interesting. So I always found that a little bit interesting. But look at this. Look at the luster. You guys know I hate the word luster. So anyways, I have a plan. Um, I'm picking up, I think, a coin counter, guys. Because I've got so much constitutional now. I want to do more audits on it and find out the weight loss and all that for you. But I've got so much, it's hard to count. And I'm when I buy big amounts like this, it would be nice just to have a counter. I put it all in and I can run it through two, three times and check it. So I do have a plan to acquire one of those, which is going to be epic. Um, I am just so happy. I went on a bit of a buying tear in early June, late June, early July, I think. Um, once the beer flu response for me was calming down a little bit. Because for those of you who don't know, I work in emergency management. So I ended up on the East Coast. And for the first like 60, 70 days, I was on absolute lockdown working 15, 16 hour days in a command center. So I didn't have time to buy um, but after that i went on a buying tear and spot was in the 17s when i bought these and mercury dimes at that so cool i got a good price on it i'll put it all up on the screen but super cool purchase super cool dimes i'm very happy i got them did you guys get lucky did were any of you buying like crazy and again i'm still not buying right now i'm waiting for stimulus the next stimulus, if you remember my prediction, I feel that with the next stimulus, we're going to see a pullback in the metals market. Now, here's the important thing. I think it's going to be a temporary pullback. Sidewards, to continue the sidewards uh, uh, consolidation model, I think we'll still be in a bull market. Um, I just think it's going to be a buying opportunity. So I've been kind of stacking up my paper fiat currency to be able to capitalize on that when and if that happens and i hope it does um but that's kind of what i'm thinking is going to happen so i could be wrong i could be right but i have a video coming up real soon with a guy that had thousand ounce bars and we talked a lot about the market and he happens to be an expert in that regard <laughs> dear lord Do I need to get it in front of my face <laughs> yeah like so try to can you sit down a little bit and like hold it up like you oh. were uh, I, can't, I can't sit and hold it at the same time. Okay, just do it real quick. I'll grab a quick screenshot. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That was good. <laughs> You're going to slip a disc, man. In terms of technical analysis, the market, all these different things. So by the time this video comes out, um, I think I probably would have already put that video out. So make sure to check that out. I think you'll like it. You'll enjoy it. And he makes some bold predictions about the future of gold and silver in the united states are you prepared well i hope you enjoyed this like comment and subscribe help me beat that youtube algorithm and catch you on the next one Woo!
and stagger on a journey to find silver international stagger